Hello everybody, welcome. Uh, I am at the airport. I'm about to, ready to get on a plane to fly to Paris to go to Disneyland Paris for the 30th anniversary. We were invited to go out to this big celebration on April 12th. I don't know much about it, but I'm very excited. So the next couple uh, vlogs you'll be seeing is gonna be down in Paris. It's gonna be all about um, Disneyland Paris. Excited to be getting back to Disney content. Um, I'm gonna show you my experience today of what it's like to uh, fly. I'm gonna be flying nonstop from Salt Lake City all the way down to Paris. And this is, uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time. It's a long flight. We'll figure it all out and share this ex this adventure with you guys. The thing that I'm most worried about is jet lag. I land at nine in the morning. I land April uh, uh, April 9th at nine in the morning, and but it's really like one o'clock I think in the morning the time. So I have to try to fight this jet lag because it's such a short trip. I'm only there for a couple of days, so I don't want to. Uh, ruin it by sleeping too much. I want to try to battle the jet lag as best that I can. So that's what we're trying to do. I'm going to try to be sleeping on the plane there. Now, for those of you who would like to know what's going on, um, uh, whenever you fly like this, you have to do uh, COVID tests and have negative COVID tests and proof of that. So that's all been taken care of. I'm ready to go. I'm excited and a little bit nervous. I haven't traveled internationally solo in a long time. Uh, it's been since college, I think I've done that. I've always been with either friends or with a family member. So I was traveling alone today and I'm excited about it. All right, okay. I'm gonna show you more once we get back on, get on the plane here. Okay, so now I'm walking on the plane and uh, the flight is exactly 10 hours and one minute. 10 hours and one minute. Let's do this. Okay, just got the seat, sat down. Uh, we're letting everybody else get boarded and they'll be taken off here. So this is a very large plane. It's two seats, then four seats, then two seats. The two seats over there, and they haven't come on yet. So yeah, I'm gonna try to sleep as much as I can on this flight. We'll see, I hope that works. Let me show you my home for the next 10 hours. I have a little screen right there if I wanna watch. Down here, then give it a blanket to sleep. And a little tiny pillow. They brought the pillows out um, in a big bag, and so each person had to reach in and grab their own pillow. So I've been the only person to touch my pillow. And I was also given uh, a little sleep kit. It's an earplugs, a sleep mask, and a toothbrush. A little travel kit. All right. The plan will be to land. I land at 7.40 in the morning. Then I'll catch a taxi. We're going to be staying at this called the Sequoia Hotel right there on Disneyland property. And then I'll be walking over to Disney. We should get there about 9.30 in the morning. Wow. It's going to be a crazy day. On our way. Just take it off right now. for about two and a half hours. I actually slept, so I just, I just woke up. And uh, wish, I wish I could have slept longer. So, yeah, it's not bad, we're making our way. That's what we've done so far. We're just a little about halfway to get there. So, I'm gonna try to sleep a little bit more in the flight so I get there good to go, but I'm not feeling too tired. Let's see what I could do. We're moving right along. Should be landing in about two hours. I have not slept too great, but I'm gonna try to get a little bit of sleep. Okay, we landed, we we're taxiing up to the gate, and now I gotta figure out how to get an Uber to get, or a taxi to get to the hotel. This is always the part that I always get the most nervous about because I don't know why I do that. Just got the plane, and now I gotta go get, I have to get my suitcase, and it's a little chilly here. See outside, it's been a little rainy here in Paris. A little cold, that's okay. Just glad to be here. On the airport. 
We're on the airport subway train going to pick up our bags. All right, just went through customs. And whenever you travel to a foreign place, you're gonna have to go through customs. Customs can take anywhere from 15 minutes. Longest I've ever had was about two and a half hours in China. Here, there's a lot of people coming in at the same time. So it took us a little bit, about an hour to go all the way through customs. Not really too bad though. Okay, got my bag. Off, guys. Off to adventure. Let's go, let's go, let's go do this. Okay, so I landed in France and now I got a taxi. The taxi's taking me to the Sequoia Lodge, which is on Disney property. It's 44 kilometers. And I had to figure that out. So I know that 10 kilometers equals 6.2 miles. So 40 kilometers is what, about 24.8 miles. And then change probably around 26, 27 mile uh, drive. So it's kind of it's pretty nice, not too bad. It's rainy here. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see it. We're, it's rainy out here. We're coming out the countryside. So we left, we left uh, downtown like Paris, and now we're going into uh, the countryside for a while, and then we'll end up. And I think it's called. It's, it looks like the word cheesy, but I think it's pronounced Chesney, Chesney, France. That's where Disneyland is located. Kind of fun, huh? A little cold, but it's good. So the time change. It's 9.40 in the morning right here in France. And in Utah right now, it's 1.40 in the morning. So my body's kind of a little tired because it's thinking it's nighttime, but then it sees the day, the sunlight, and it's like, what's going on? The best way to overcome jet lag is the first day when you get somewhere, is you want to go take a nap, you want to go sleep, don't. You stay awake, uh, drink some caffeine if you have to, and push through that first day. You'll be exhausted about nine o'clock at night. You'll just go right to sleep. You'll sleep all night, and the next morning you're on that schedule. So it kind of helps you with your jet lag. Now the whole reason I came out here to Disneyland Paris is they're celebrating their 30th anniversary on April 12th. Uh, the last time we were out here was right before the whole craziness of the world started. Uh, it was February of 2020, uh, 20, and uh, then it was, I didn't think I'd get back here for a long time, but. Uh, things have changed and uh, travel is now uh, doable and we were invited to come here because on April 12th they're having a special panel. It's going to be in English and they, when I got invited to it they told me that they're, they're having a bunch of speakers but they wouldn't really say who the special guests were. They told me it was hush hush and but I looked and I think it got leaked. I think one of them is Tony Baxter uh, will be there. So. That's the main reason out here is to be able to go to that panel to see the 30th anniversary of this whole thing. And I've been told I've been given permission to film parts of that. And so I'll be able to show you that. That'll be in a couple of days. And then the rest of the time, I uh, I went on our Instagram on Provost Park Pass and I asked you guys, I'm like, what do you want to see? And a bunch of people put a bunch of comments. I saw them before I got on a plane. They wanted to see the pins. They want to see merchandise. People said, can you show the food? Some people want to see some attractions. So I'm gonna do some of the videos where I show them. I'm gonna to try to show the different foods, the different uh, merchandise. We we'll do lots of merchandise, uh, and then we'll also show you maybe like Disneyland uh, the pins. Because people seem to be very interested if they have unique pins here in Disneyland, and uh, so I'll be doing that as well. So that's the whole reason we're out here was for this big, huge 30th anniversary. Super honored and flattered that we were invited to come out here. Just thrilled. We have lots of a. Uh, uh, cast member friends out here who work with Disneyland Paris and and uh, and they're and they're just amazing and uh, they bring the magic just like any other Disney park and so excited to see them again and, and be reunited with them and to go some amazing uh, go some amazing uh, anniversary as we get closer to the hotel I'll I'll come back and get closer to the hotel so you guys can see the Sequoia Lodge as we get there okay there it is. That was signed by really fast. There it is. The... The, I was pronouncing it Sequoia, but my driver says it's the Sequoia Lodge. All right, so we just got checked in. The Sequoia Lodge, it reminds me of the Grand California at Disneyland. 
it's really pretty. Look out, look outside, you can see the trees and everything like that. It's about a 10 minute walk from uh, Disneyland Paris and our hotel room is not ready yet. My hotel room's not quite ready yet. So I thought I might just walk through downtown Disney and kind of show it to you guys. It's a little rainy, but I think it's okay. Hey, look at this, there they go. Chip and Dale right there, Sequoia Adventure. This is exactly, it reminds me just like of the Grand California. It's this arts and crafts style. This is the little prairie where kids can come play. Look at, let me go check some more. Oh, let me go. I'm gonna explore and come back. And it's kind of crazy. They have like these foosball tables and like uh, pool, billiards pool tables. They're just all over. Just randomly, like, see, there's another one. These have them like all over the uh, the lodge. So if you want to shoot a little game of stick or play a little foosball, not a problem. I bet you there's the foosball right over here. Like, see, see what they down there. It's crazy. Over here, this side, they have the Hunter's Grill. It's a restaurant. This is the way you walk out of the park. Then over here, they got the Beaver Creek restaurant. It's supposed to be, like, it's supposed to be like one of the really nicest buffets. That's what the cast members told me. They're like, oh, you're gonna love it. It's so good. So. And we walk right out here to go to the parks. And that takes you to right to downtown Disney and then to Disneyland right there. It's about a 10 minute walk, they say. Let's do it. I'm really happy to be here. I'm tired. I mean, like literally I've been on the plane, got here. Right as we got to the airport, I, by the, that's the Sequoia Lodge right there behind me. Right as we got to the airport, uh, Amanda was dropping me off. I had this uh, big ping of guilt and sadness. I couldn't believe I was coming all the way out here to uh, Paris without Amanda and without Miles. And I felt so bad about it. And I, I told Amanda, I said, I just don't know. And she's like, she goes, this is once in a lifetime. You gotta be there for this anniversary. She's like, it's cool. You're invited, it's fun. Just go and enjoy it. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm just gonna try my best to enjoy this and uh, I'm gonna take you along with me. So I'm gonna show you this whole amazing lake and the brand new hotel they have up here. And then we'll go to downtown Disney together. Okay. All right, so right, be right behind me, this is the Sequoia Lodge. I think that's the Victoria Bay. Let's see what's, uh, it's something like that. And then right there, let's find out what it's called, exactly what it's called. Uh, it is called Disney's Newport Bay. That's the Newport Bay. Then you got the Sequoia Lodge. Then right here, this is a giant lake. And we're gonna walk around this lake. And that right there, that, that balloon that actually raises up at nighttime. They, they take people up and down on that little balloon. This is the brand new. This is the it was the New York Hotel. It's now the Marvel themed hotel, and that's where I'll be meeting for the, on the twelfth to this to this new panel about the thirtieth anniversary. We'll be at that hotel right there. You walk right along there. We're gonna go to Downtown Disney, and then that takes us right into Disneyland Paris. All right, let's do this. Let's go, guys. Let's do it. All right, so we're just walking along. We're gonna be walking by the. Uh, Marvel Hotel. I'll kind of show you some of the Marvel stuff as we get there. But before we get there, I just want to tell you this real quickly. I just want to take a quick moment and talk to you. You are amazing and you are special. And I hope that you know that. And I really specifically want to talk to people right now who might be who might be struggling with a job and like wondering like, oh, this is difficult. Think of it like the tide. There are highs and there are lows. There'll be good days and there'll be bad days. Just keep doing the best job you can do keep doing the best job you can do and the thing is here's what you have to do a little secret of success sometimes you have to let your managers know what a good job you're doing hey these are all the things I've done what else can I do how can I lighten your load and that uh, will help you kind of maybe get promoted and move up in your career anyways I just want you to know that I think you're awesome all right I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see this new Marvel Hotel it looks awesome thanks for being here with me today guys I'm not so lonely since you guys are with me Okay, all right, Captain Marvel. You got Iron Man right there. And then I will be showing you this whole inside of this hotel once we go in there for the big 30th anniversary. But it's cool, it looks awesome. I love the lines on it. it looks very cool. It's called Hotel New York, but it's done with Marvel theming. We've stayed here uh, right before they did the retheming of it. So I'm excited to go in and kind of check it out. And of course you've got the big balloon that 
Miles was fascinated with when he was here last time. He just loved watching it go up and down. Just loved it. And then people come out here and they relax. In the summertime, people relax out here in this nice little grass area. All right, I'm gonna take you guys into downtown Disney. So they technically call this Disney Village. It's basically downtown Disney, but it's Disney Village. They have all kinds of, they got like the Cafe Mickey over here, Rainforest Cafe, Earl of Sandwich, and a whole bunch of other restaurants and shops and stores. You have more sandwiches over here. They got Billy Bob's, you guys. This is like a saloon. It's a country show. Of course, they got Starbucks, if you guys ever heard of that. And then they have a bunch of Disney stores and Disney paraphernalia over here. At nighttime, when you come out at nighttime, along here, they have little carts that sell like crepes and ice cream and waffles. Uh, I don't know if they're doing that since, I mean, they did it two years ago. So I'm gonna see if they do it. But man, we'd come by and man and I would stop and get crepes and waffles at nighttime and just loved it. There's Planet Hollywood. Then right over here is the movie theater. It looks like they're showing Encanto. They have World of Disney. And then from there, that's where we have the entrance into Disneyland Paris. I'll show you that as we get there. When you think of Disneyland Paris, I want you to think of Disneyland. They're very similar. Disneyland, you have Disneyland, and then right across the little esplanade, you have Disney California Adventure, DCA. Well, the same thing here. You have Disneyland and uh, Walt Disney Studios. And they are very, very close to the two parks here. Let me show them to you. Oh, I just got excited. That is Disneyland, Disneyland Paris. Just walk through right. That's the Disneyland Hotel. You walk underneath the hotel to go right into Disneyland. And then right behind me, you have Walt Disney Studios right over there. It's where they have Tower of Terror, Ratatouille. This, by the way, is the smallest geographic park, a Disney park in the world. I think it's only 56 acres, if I remember correctly. It's very small, but still really fun. But you can walk back and forth through. I'm going to go to Disneyland first. You can walk back and forth and park hop to these parks as often as you want. You know, at Disneyland, you have to wait till after one o'clock. Here at Disneyland Paris, you do not. You can just start park hopping as, as often as you want to. All right, let's go in. Let's go in, guys. I think we're gonna go in, and the first thing we do is get a croque monsieur. Let's talk about that. For those of you who have maybe seen our Disneyland Paris uh, vlogs from a couple years ago, Amanda, my wife, was obsessed with these croque monsieur sandwiches, and she would love them and ate them all the time. Since that time, a while ago, my wife, Amanda, became a vegetarian. And people ask, like, why is she come vegetarian? She always did it because meat kind of just kind of just grossed her out a little bit. No, no particular reasons other than that. And uh, but she did tell me. She's like, she said, I might be tempted to have a crook my shirt one day if we ever go back. So I think I'm gonna get one in honor of Amanda. All right, guys, let's go into Disneyland Park. I love this place so much. I love Disneyland Paris. When you walk in, when you walk in. Uh, down Main Street, it feels like you're in Disneyland, but it's a little bit off. It feels like a, it feels surreal, like almost like a dream. Here we are walking right into the entrance, guys. Oh, it's ox. It's awesome. There's the giant Mickey clock, reminiscent of the Mickey watches. Let's go in. Gates are open, and we are now in, guys. And this is the 30th anniversary. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do today. I'm not gonna show you too much about Disneyland Paris. I, I, I will, and the other and the other videos coming out tomorrow, I'll go in and we'll do a whole bunch more. Today I'm gonna focus, I'm just gonna show you the croque monsieur sandwich, and I'm also gonna show you the, the Sequoia Lodge as a check-in. But, and then we'll focus the rest of it on the Disneyland Paris. But I just wanna see this, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're walking in. This is something that's a little bit interesting is uh, here at Disneyland Paris, you can walk in to the right, to the center, and the left of the train station and just walk right in through. Whereas in Disneyland, you have to walk on the right or the left. And you, I can't believe it, guys. I see a parade coming right down Main Street. Okay, maybe you guys lucky ducks. I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of that parade as we get through here. Isn't this amazing? And look at that castle. It's coming up, guys. It is probably the prettiest castle. I love this. All right, let me do a little pan around so you guys can see. Here we are, we got City Hall, right? And then you look over here. Yeah, all the little area, it looks very similar to Disneyland, but then at the same time, you're like, wait, it's different. It's awesome. And I love this place so much. 
right, I'm gonna get a little bit closer here and show you some of this, this parade. Looks like they have a little cavalcade coming down. I think I see Goofy on top. So let's get down here and check this all out. I am not sure what's going on, guys. They're having a, a parade going on. It looks like, it looks like Goofy is like leading the parade. They're, the floats are going past Goofy. I'll try to get a little closer so you guys can see what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Goofy's out of control. On top being the bandmaster. They're doing all kinds of things, guys. Like the water is shooting off. Goofy's dancing. Genie's dancing. They're over there. They're over there behind it. I can't get any closer. I will for the next videos. But check this out. It is amazing. And all that steam coming up by the castle, that's because the water is shooting up this water show. All right, so I am in the market house. Gonna get a, I'm gonna get the Crook shirt right up there, you guys can see it. But these are the things they have for this celebration. They got this celebration Mickey sandwich on a uh, bun, or they got a veg, uh, vegetarian, I don't know, like a, what is this, a pretzel bun. But we're gonna get the Crook shirt right here, guys. And I'm gonna get the ham. The ham. The ham. Best sandwich I've ever had in my life is in this box right here. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? Here it is, opening up the sandwich. Oh, look at this. Guys, that's melted cheese on top of it. And they got ham inside it, and they got like this cheese. Oh, let me just move this. Oh, it is the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's like Yeah, it's like that. I had to show you another bite it's so good. Melted cheese on top, melted cheese inside, ham inside, the bread is soft. If you don't want ham, they do have turkey crook munchers. But the original is ham. And Coca-Cola to go with it. Okay, so I have to show this, guys. This is like for the 30th anniversary celebration. They have these characters. It's like wire work. Like there's Dumbo, but it's kind of like, you know, there. And they got Tigger and Pooh over here and the umbrella. And then like this, at first I didn't know what this was. It's a Cheshire cat upside down and look at like his body like this. But this is what's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Miles would freak out if he was here. His favorite character is Baymax. That's like his favorite character. And there, look at this. There's Baymax just turning around, just enjoying it. Oh my gosh. Look how good that looks. Just on top of the world over there, just turning around. And then over there, we got Sifu, and I'm gonna show you these, because I think it's, oh my gosh, there's Mushu. You never see Mushu anymore. I love it, I love it. This kind of all, this show all the different things they got going over here for the 30th anniversary. Then you go over here, got a little, it's the Little Mermaid. <laughs> no way, and Flounder. Flounder the Fish. Oh, there's, there's Dory and Nemo. Good grief, guys. This is, oh, there's even more over here. Oh, Stitch. Get out of here. Uh, this is crazy. I love this stuff. This is all for the 30th anniversary. <laughs> look at look at, look at uh, Stitch's little, what is that, little <laughs> dress made out of palm leaves. Nice. And then right over here, we got Eva. She's floating around the world. I don't see Wally. You just see Eva. You see Earth. Kind of like a giant Death Star. Then you got the little green man right over there. I think there's more. I'm gonna go try to find more of these to show them off because I find this fascinating. It makes me happy to be here because here I am, I'm on a different continent and people are happy. And they all say, say have the same love of Disney like we do when we're in California or Florida. And it just, it just transcends cultures. And I love that. Just people are just happy. And I just like that. The world should be happy, guys. It really should. All right. Let's check out this next one. I like this. This is cool. Look, it's Snow White. It's her dress with the apple on top of it. 
Oh, look at that. That's crazy. I, I, let's go down here. Okay, what do you got down here? Okay, this is Sleeping Beauty. That's Aurora, Briar Rose, and she's dancing. You see her dancing there with a squirrel and wearing the hat, and the, the rabbits are in the boots. You see, see the rabbits in the boots? Uh, what is this? Is this Cinderella? This must be Cinderella. It's definitely making the Cinderella vibe out of the dress, getting ready. Way to go, Cinderella. Oh, this castle is amazing. I love this castle. And that's Amanda's favorite part right over there. The square trees. There's all these square trees. All right, guys. Let's continue on. Just check this out. I love this. Oh, look at this. Tiana. That was Miles' first princess that he fell in love with. Watching her. He loved her. And then let's see here. What do we got over there? Is that Belle? I guess that's Beauty. That's Belle. It's got to be Belle. If you look at the rose in the uh, rose in the dress, it gives it away. But it's kind of got blonde hair. I guess it gets a little darker in the in the ends there. And then is that Merida? Let me, let me move around over here. Look at Merida shooting straight up. That's very dangerous to do with bone arrows. I do know that. But she's a good archer, so she probably knows what she's doing. Look at that! Look at that bottom. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. All right, there's, wait, but, but wait, there's more. Oh, now we're getting to the bad guys. All right, we got Maleficent here. Look at the flames coming out of the bottom. Maleficent is looking very good, very regal is what she always does. All right, and then right over here, we've got <laughs> Ursula. Look at Ursula. <laughs> oh, she got flotsam and jetsam, the uh, eels off the side. Way to go, Ursula. Look at that. Okay, poor unfortunate souls. And then over here, we've got Jafar. And look at Jafar. Whoa, oh my gosh. Look at this. It's got the snake, the cobra on top, down there. We better get close, not Jafar away, so you can see it. Wah, 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 wah. Is a castle pretty? But wait, guys, there's even more. Oh, look at Genie. Is that Genie? Look at all the hands coming out. Oh, look at this. See Genie and all the hands coming out? You get off here, 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 anywhere. You get your wishes, pal. There's a Genie. I love it. And then this might be my favorite. I'm not sure. I love, I just like it. This is the three fairies, uh, Meriwether, Flora, is it Fauna? And I just think they look, they're flying around the castle, leaving a trail. Looks very good. And then down here, we've got Tinkerbell. And you'll notice the inside of the globe is spinning. There's, there's a globe and a globe and a globe. The inside's spinning faster, then the middle is not spinning, and then the, the outside is spinning a little bit slower than the inside. And you look at Tinkerbell up top, she, her, her wings are made of glass, they reflect. But guys, there's even more. This is all for the 30th. Let's go find some more. I hope you guys enjoy this stuff. If you do, would you put it down in the comments down below and say, hey, I like seeing these things. Because I don't, I'm just, I, you know, I, I just, if I don't have a script and I'm doing facts, I kind of, I run amok. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. So put it down if you like this type of stuff. It helps me feel better about what I'm doing. All right, let's continue on with these statues because I find them fascinating. I hope you do too. All right, so here we got Timon and Pumbaa. Look at them, Timon and Pumbaa. Nice. And the butterflies, he's holding the leaves. And then right next, what is that? Right behind them, oh, it's Kevin from Up. And then, whoa, okay. Is this... Okay, what is, what sneak is this? Is this, is this from Jungle Book? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm missing that. Kind of reminds me of those eyes, the princess and the frog. I don't know, what, I don't know what sneak that is. Put it down in the comments down below what sneak that is, because I don't know. But look guys, right over here, continuing on. What do you see? Oh man, I forgot the, 
the uh, raccoon's name. You have to put that down below too. Then the hummingbird. And they're like, uh, kind of like, they're like feisty. I, it's like on the tip of my brain. I, I know I know it, but I just don't know where I know it. And then over here, we've got the bunnies hopping and they're all chasing the uh, carrots. <laughs> I love that. Eat those bunnies to try to get those carrots. And then they got the white, the red roses. Is that Alice in Wonderland theming? Is that what that is? Is that the, uh, that's from Pocahontas. Okay, well, I can't remember the names though. Is that, uh, is this theming from Alice in Wonderland? And then we got Pascal here, guys. Pascal from Tangled, dressed in his dress. <laughs> Look at these little, this is amazing. I love these. You guys, there's Mickey and Minnie and they were just dancing and celebrating for the 30th. Mickey's all decked out and so is Minnie. Look at her dress. Oh my gosh. All right, so there's the castle right there behind me, guys. It looks very pretty. The sun is coming out. It's starting to look very nice here. It was raining this morning, but it's looking really nice right now. All right, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm still tired because I have it's been long travel, right? But I was thinking about this. There is a barber shop here in Main Street, and I was thinking, you know what I should do? In order to celebrate the 30th anniversary, I should get a haircut and it looked really good for this celebration. So I'm gonna go down there and see if the barber shop is open. I'm gonna get my hair cut here in Disneyland Paris. Okay, so I just looked and it says the barber shop is supposed to open at two o'clock. It's three minutes to two. So let's walk down there to the barber shop and see if we can be the first one in line to get our hair cut. Here we go. Walking right down here, Main Street. It looks just like Disneyland, but a little bit different, if that makes sense. We're walking right over here where the toy chest is. Right in that corner is where they have the Dapper Dan's Barber Shop. So let's see if I can get over here to this Dapper Dan's. Walk right over here. Let's see if they're open yet. Of course, I think I'm a little early. Oh no, I think this guy's, they all waiting to get haircuts too. I know you can go through the store. So not quite ready yet. Dapper Dance haircuts, expert haircutting and mustache trims. Let's try to figure this out. The closest, safest shaves. I think you can even walk inside to the to the uh, to the store. So let's go through the store. It's a tiny bit cold today, so it feels kind of good inside the store. It's a little bit warmer. Walk out over here. Not quite ready. I'll come back when they're when they're open. Oh no! I just found out that the barber had some type of a family emergency or something. I don't really understand, but he left. Is not coming back this afternoon, so the barber shop is closed. So I could not get my hair cut, and uh, I think I could do it on. And then it's closed on Monday. It's it closed on Sunday and Monday. It's open on Tuesday. But that's when also is when the big huge festivities begins. So I might not be able to get my haircut down here in Disneyland Paris, which I really wanted to do. We'll see if I can figure it out. Maybe I, maybe I can sneak it in on Tuesday somehow. All right, so here's what I'm gonna be doing now. It is about 2.15ish. So I'm gonna walk back to the uh, hotel, see if the room is ready and give you a room tour. Uh, so you can see what the room is like. Now, if any of you are interested in coming to Disneyland Paris, I am now going to tell you the best way, the most affordable way to do it, to make a trip or family vacation out here. I am not putting a link down below. A link doesn't work for this, for Disneyland Paris. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to call this phone number, 1-855-GETAWAY. That's 1-855-GETAWAY. That'll take you to Getaway Today. Now when you, get it, when you call Getaway Today, you tell them Provost Park Pass sent you and say, hey, the reason I'm calling is because I would like to uh, book a trip to Disneyland Paris. They will then help you with all of that, how to do everything, but they have to do it over the phone in order to get you the best prices. So 
If you want to get the best prices on a vacation package coming here to Disneyland Paris, maybe it's a dream thing that you want to do with your family, your friend, or your significant other, whoever it is, or maybe even just by yourself, then what you can do is you call 1-855-GETAWAY and then they tell them Pro's Park Pass sent you so you get the best prices and then tell them, say, I want to book a trip to Disneyland Paris. And they'll work with you over the phone getting everything uh, organized so you can come down here and celebrate uh, Disneyland Paris. Now keep in mind, this year is the 30th anniversary. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, there's a train. There's a lot of cool stuff to see here. I'll be showing you a bunch of this. In the next couple of videos I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to show you the merchandise. They have lots of different merchandise here. Then I'm gonna show you also the food that they have here, lots of different food. And I'm gonna try to show you some pins, because apparently the pins are a little bit different. So let's go ahead and uh, do the pins. Let's see here, how do I get out of here? Hang on one second. I got distracted by the exit, so I'm not getting more saying. I think I was talking about pins. I'll also be showing you some of the pins that they have here. And of course, don't forget, I'll be showing you some attractions. These are all in the next couple, couple of videos that are coming up here uh, that I'll be doing the next couple of days. So I, at the end of this video, at the bottom at, or in the comments, put down what you want to see in the next three days I'm, I'm here in Disneyland Paris. What do you want to see? I'll, uh, I'll do whatever you guys ask me to see. If, Long as, with this, with, long as it's within reason, I can do it. I want to show you Disneyland Paris, and I also want to show you the Walt Disney Studios across the way here. All right, guys, so I'm going to walk back now to the uh, hotel, the Sequoia Lodge, and I'll show you the room. This, by the way, is the Disneyland Hotel, and it goes right there. There's a hallway that walks right over, and then right there is the entrance into Disneyland Paris. So the hotel literally sits over the entrance to Disneyland Paris. It's really cool. They're doing a massive refurbishment right now of the hotel. That's why it's got these little fences around and everything like that. They're doing this massive refurb, but eventually it'll be opening up again. And you, be, you stay right in this hotel. It is sweet. Talk about having the best entrance because you walk right in to the park from the hotel. It is sweet. All right, again, uh, if you do want to come to Disneyland Paris, I'm not putting a link down below because it can't give you the best rates for that. But if you want to get the best rates, call 1-855-GETAWAY-TODAY and you will get the very best rates you can get coming to Disneyland Paris. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to walk through downtown Disney together and then I'll show you the room, the Sequoia Lodge room. Let's do this. Okay, I have to show you this. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to waste any of your time. This is awesome though. Look at this they've opened it up we walked by earlier it's closed look at it. they got like the strawberries and then you tell them you want it and they'll dip the strawberries for you they'll dip the marshmallows for you they'll dip apples for you they do everything you want oh my gosh it's so awesome they got the macarons and the macarons and the light pops and then over here remember how i was telling you that they make waffles i was telling you how man and i get waffles and crepes here's how they do it look at this Oh, you guys can't even smell it, but it smells so good. It smells so good. There's a giant Disney store over here. Massive Disney store. But those crepes, they smell delicious. And there's another there's another one right over here. Look at this. Look at these hot dogs, these sandwiches. Mm. This is just in the Disney Village area. And apparently these kiosks are now starting to open up. When I walked through, it must have been too early or maybe it's because it was raining. I'm not getting sure. I see another one right up here. I don't know what it is. Let's go explore it together. What do we got there? This looks like... Uh, what is it? It's type sweet treats. Hot wine. Hot chocolate. Looks good. It's good? It's perfect. It's perfect! Oh man. Oh man. They do have they do have amazing hot chocolate here. Okay. Before I got married to Amanda, Amanda was a little adventurer. She would travel quite a bit by herself. And one of the things she would always do when she travels, and if you've ever traveled with Amanda. Uh, you know this if you haven't then I'll tell you so you could be prepared for it if you ever have the opportunity to attract when you travel with Amanda She likes to uh, get hot chocolate when she travels. That's something she likes to she likes to get it and try to find the perfect cup of 
of hot chocolate. And the perfect cup of hot chocolate she ever found was in Spain. She always said that was the best hot chocolate she ever got until she came here to Disneyland Paris at the Walt Disney Studios. Not Disneyland Paris, but Walt Disney Studios. And I'll show this in this next couple of videos coming up. Over by the Ratatouille ride, they have this whole area where they have all these carts that do food and they do all kinds of things from savory to sweet. And there's one of them there that does hot chocolate. And Amanda claims that it's the best hot chocolate that she's ever had in her life. In fact, one day when we were here a couple of years ago on the Provost Park Press World Tour before it got canceled, Amanda got up and we were all getting ready to go to Disneyland, uh, Paris. And Amanda's like, oh, we're walking to the hotel, right out of the hotel. And all of a sudden Amanda's like, oh, sorry guys, I forgot something. Uh, I'll, be, I'll, I'll meet you over there in the castle in just a little bit, whatever. So she turns around and goes back. And I was like, well, that's weird. And so I thought, I'll wait for her. So I waited and waited and waited. And I never, and it's here, come back. And I look out this window there by, I can see her walking out by herself. I was like, where is she going? So we followed her and she didn't know. She went to Disneyland, <laughs> to the Walt Disney Studios by herself, beelined it straight to the hot chocolate place and order herself a little cup of hot chocolate. And we're just sitting there just drinking it and just enjoying it. And we walked over to her and I was like, what are you doing? She's like, oh my gosh, she busted her, busted, busted. She was sneaking away to get hot chocolate. But uh, apparently that hot chocolate at the Walt Disney Studios is the very best in the whole world. I'll show it to you later on. Right there, that's the Sequoia Hotel. That's where we're staying at. It's really not that far. They do have a bus. If you do want to take a bus, I'll t a bus will take you. The bus goes every 15 minutes. It drops you off at the front of Disneyland Paris. Uh, but I was like, oh, I can walk. It's easy to walk. So with Black Panther, so I was like, I'll just walk. Easy, easy, easy. All right, guys. So here's the room. Here's the our right, check out. Look at this room. Now, what's interesting? Every almost almost all the hotel rooms you ever stay at when you're here in Europe, they were a little bit smaller than the hotels in America. And the beds are usually a little bit smaller, but these are really nice. I mean, this is very, very, very nice. Look at our room here. This is like a little, uh, like, a, like a, almost like an espresso maker. They have like a little coffee break. And then our view, check out the view. Look at that. Looks sweet, sweet, sweet. I know, you want, you want me to show you the bathroom? All right, let me show you the bathroom. All right, so here's the bathroom. You got your little sink uh, and then everything. And you see my suitcase was already brought up here. They brought my suitcase up, which is super nice because I checked in early. And this is one thing that is a little bit interesting. This is just a, like a European shower. They're a little bit, seem to be a little bit smaller, but that's, this is very normal. This is exactly what it is. Full tub, got a nice little bench there if you need to sit down. And then of course, you know, if you so chose to use that, it's right there for you. And then you got all the shampoos and soaps for you. And this is a perfect room. This is great. Everything you need. Aww. Later on, I'm going to go to eat at the restaurant here. I'll show you the restaurant. Hey guys, it is 6.45 at night. I am very tired. I'm running on fumes, but the day's not over yet. Uh, here at the Sequoia Lodge, the, the, the concierge made a reservation for us at the Beaver Creek lot, uh, restaurant here. My friend Rob, he's joining for dinner tonight. We'll be eating here and we'll kind of show you a little bit about what that restaurant's like. But I do have something to say. That's, that's where we're we'll eating at. I do have something to say is that I am a little bit concerned because I'm trying to do a video every single day for the month of April, but I don't know how I'm going to do this with the time change because I have to sleep. I'm so tired. So once I get done with this, once I get done eating, I'll edit the video. Then I'm going to go to, and I'll edit it and then I'll post that video, but then I will go to sleep and then I've got to sleep. Then tomorrow I'll get up, I'm gonna to go to Walt Disney World. I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna to go to Walt Disney Studios. I'm gonna show you all the merchandise and food there and then go to Disneyland Paris and show the food and merchandise there because that seems like what you guys are really interested in. And then by the time I get ready to edit that, it'll be the next day for you guys. So I might skip one day, but that's just because of the time change. Just give you guys a heads up. So you can be aware of that. So after the next video coming out, it's gonna be Walt Disney World Studios. I'm sorry, Walt, Disney Studios and Disneyland Paris showing food and merchandise and maybe some cool little facts about it uh, and then the next day you could let me know in that video in the comments what you want to see like which attractions you want me to see 
So, all right, sounds good. And uh, coming up next, the Beaver Creek Lodge. I have to show you my fourth plate, else you never would believe me. <laughs> I think I'm so tired, I'm slap happy. <laughs> that is pancakes in chocolate syrup with um, butter uh, uh, butterfingers and a mini donut. I'm kidding, it's so good. All right, so I go get my first plate. I get prime rib and salad. I ate the and sitting next to prime rib, they have like a little silver thing they open up. I thought there'd be au gratin potatoes in it. I open it up and look at staring back at me, mini pancakes. And I'm like looking at them like, what the heck? And I look at the server and she looks at me and I just slowly close it. I come back, I eat the prime rib, I ate most of my salad, but I didn't like the salad dressing, so I didn't eat it all. Then I get up and I go get a plate of pancakes and mini donuts, and I eat that. And then I get done with that, I get up and I start to walk away, and my friend Rob is like, he just looks at me and he's like, oh, let me guess, you're gonna go get more desserts. I'm like, don't judge me, Mr. Judgey McJudgerton. So then I go back, I felt a little guilty, so then I got meatballs and cauliflower, and I ate that. And then after that, I went back and got more pancakes and mini donuts. But now Rob just came back with his plate. Let me show you his plate. What you got there, Rob? <laughs> a little bit of everything. <laughs> you hit the dessert. <laughs> Looks like you hit the dessert. And you somehow got the, the pancakes underneath there. <laughs> so, Mr. Side-Eye, let me guess you're going to get more desserts. <laughs> okay, just to show you, there's the prime rib. And then, oh, if you look in here, <laughs> pancakes. It's genius. Well, here I am, guys. I am in the elevator, getting ready to go up to my room. It's just a little past 8.30. I'm so tired. I am just, just exhausted. And it's funny because I tell Rob, and Rob's like, he's like, the night's a puppy. Come on, let's go out. I just sat there. All I had the energy to do was just make my eye, my eyes go kind of narrow and I look at him. I was like, that's all, I, that's all the energy I had for that conversation. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please put a comment down below. That really helps the video to say something like what you like, what you didn't like about this video. That really helps the video uh, reach a bigger audience. And if you could also, if you could hit that like button and that subscribe button here, that would be great. That would be fantastic. You are amazing and I hope you have a fantastic night. I will be getting you the new video I just don't know how the time difference will come out. So it might not be tomorrow, or it'll be the next day at the longest. Maybe tomorrow if I could get it all done. I do have to sleep at some point. All right, I'm just checking in my room. So anyways, have a fantastic night, everybody. I'll talk to you later, bye-bye. Real quick, I just had to show this. I came in and on my bed, I've got 30th anniversary coins on my bed. They put them there. Oh, sweet. All right, good night, guys.